Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So last year uh, for GATE 2021, we have launched our first full course, okay, first full course on GATE XC. And uh, for GATE 2022, recently, as everyone knows who are following our YouTube channel, they know that we have launched both our ME course and XC course uh, in the month of February. Okay, so everyone knows about that. And in the same month, in the month of February itself, we launched our Android app and also iOS app and uh, the test series of GATE ME and test series of GATE XC also. Now coming to this particular video, uh, I just want to explain in detail only about GATE XC course. Okay, I talked about com combination of both ME and XC course uh, previously, but I just want to talk about only GATE XC course, what is the speciality of our GATE XC course and uh, like what we are planning to do for GATE 2022. And of course, in GATE 2023, there will be an improvement. Okay, so I will just give a glimpse about what we are going to do for GATE 2023 also at the end. Okay, so first of all, GATE XC course, what we are planning to do for GATE 2022. Let me explain. Uh, we are going to offer for these four sections, okay, that is XCA Engineering Mathematics and XCB Fluid Mechanics, XCB Solid Mechanics and XCE Thermodynamics, okay. And one point to add, videos of XCA, XCB and XCE, all the videos are already, up, uh, already uploaded, okay. So, there is no pending videos, once if you register for the course, all the videos will be available for you. Of course, if all the videos are available for you, you need to know the strategy, how to start, uh, which which subject to start, which chapter to start. All those things I will discuss with you. Okay, I will discuss with you and then I will instruct you accordingly. But this is an inst this is something which I just want to make sure that all, all these things are available. Okay, so XEA, XCB, XCE, all concepts video, problem video, previous year question video, everything is available. Okay, so everything is available. Now coming to XCB, this is uh, something which we are introducing this year. Okay, last year XCB was not there because of time restriction, obviously. Okay, so what we are planning for XCB, okay, what we did until now, mechanics of deformed bodies. We can split this XCD solid mechanics into three categories: mechanics of rigid bodies, mechanics of deformable bodies, and vibrations, right? And in that, mechanics of deformable bodies all the videos are uploaded okay of course we need to add previous year questions of gate xc that will be done at the end only okay so that is uh, that is something which is there and coming to mechanics of rigid bodies that is uh, engineering mechanics that is the topics uh, that is the topic which we are dealing now okay in the month of march april uh, and it will be done by may first week okay so completely it will be done by may first week so the remaining pending topic of XED will be vibration and that is planned uh, planned for September and October. You might uh, have a doubt sir why you are planning it for September, October, why can't you start uh, next? Because we we have plans for both uh, gate ME and gate XE. Okay, for gate ME we have a plan of uh, manufacturing engineering for the month of May, June, July. Okay, after completing that, we'll be completing heat transfer. Then in the September, October month, we'll be starting theory of machines and vibration. That time, vibration part of the solid mechanics will also be completed. Okay, so that is what regarding XCD. But each and every topic, whatever is required for you, will be covered. That is something which I'm guaranteeing you. That is for sure. Okay, right. Now, coming to what our course consists of. It's going to consist of optimized video lectures. What does it mean by optimized video lecture? See, uh, something I actually recently in the previous videos also I said about this, but I'm, I'm not sure after uh, after going through our videos, the students having a doubt, sir, whether your course covers everything or it's only some like videos are 10 minutes, 20 minutes only, but is it covering everything? That is some doubt which most of the students are getting. See, my I personally feel that this is something which is lagging in many places that optimization of video lectures is something which is lagging in many places i am not criticizing about the concepts i am not criticizing anything okay uh, see honestly there will be many person who knows much 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 better than that of me okay but what i am saying is the optimization of video lectures that is what lagging what does it mean the video lectures, if you just go through uh, YouTube or if you just go through the video lectures, the video lectures, other video lectures, it will be like one hour or two hour or three hours. Each each video, each video will be one hour or each video will be two hour or each video will be three hour. My personal feeling is 
if a student is going to watch video lectures that is if a student is going to prepare in online okay if he is attending live class no issues at all okay if he is going to attend live class okay fine well and good if it is 3 hours or 4 hours whatever he has to sit only but if he is going to see video lectures personally i feel video lectures are better than live class that is not that is something which i don't want to talk about it now let it be now coming to this if you are planning for video lecture and if you start seeing either a video lecture or if you are see if you are watching a live class a recorded live class okay a recorded live class or a video lecture whatever if each video lecture or each video is was 3 hours or 2 hours or 6 hours there is a possibility right for 6 hours videos also i i was going through few videos which is 6 hours or which is 12 hours the thing is the human uh, capacity okay the capacity of mind is not that much honestly see you can sit in a classroom that is completely different even i used to take class for 8 hours or 10 hours per day okay but that is in classroom okay that is in a physical environment that is completely different and in physical environment classroom if i ask students to sit for 8 hours also they will sit but before a computer before a small screen even you will be watching this video in mobiles only okay so if you are going to watch uh, videos in mobiles or uh, videos in computer then that 3 hours is seriously difficult right so that is where this optimization plays a role what we are going to do in this optimized video lectures we will be dividing a chapter if you take a chapter we will be dividing that chapter into small small bits it's not going to be um like one chapter won't be covered in 6 hours or one chapter i am not going to make a video of 6 hours i am not going to make a video of 10 hours each chapter will be divided into bits okay so like uh, one concept 10 minutes another concept 15 minutes other another concept 20 minutes maximum 20 minutes few concepts it may go it there it, there may be possibility for half an hour or 35 minutes it depends because sfd bmd if i am drawing for some complicated beams i cannot uh, stick i cannot complete it uh, uh, in 10 minutes or 5 minutes right so few concept will go for 30 minutes but mostly we will try to op- optimize it okay that is one thing the another another thing is all the unnecessary uh, time lag such as reading the question or uh, erasing the boards all those things will be removed even you could you could have you would have observed that okay like removing all the time lags and also making a video in a, a crisp manner so that it will be optimized all those things we already uh, you would have already observed it in our demo videos also demo videos are available in our portal or it is even available in uh, what is that it is even available in uh, in youtube channel also you can just go and check in the playlist you will find out n number of demo videos so that is all about optimized video lectures and one thing i am guaranteeing you complete syllabus will be com- covered okay complete syllabus will be covered what does it mean by complete syllabus because for gate xc if you are any aspirant if you are mechanical engineering and uh, if you done your mechanical engineering and if you are preparing for xc then you know there are many additional topics which is involved in gate xc especially in mathematics and fluid mechanics solid mechanics it is almost same thermodynamics almost same thermodynamics there are two three topics such as that uh, what is that compressibility factor and all those things that also already done okay we already completed it and similarly for fluid mechanics also all the additional topics has been already covered similarly for mathematics also everything has been already covered and uploaded okay so including additional topics all the video lectures will be covered uh, like complete syllabus will be covered okay that is what optimized video lectures now coming to next in video lectures itself you will find out solved examples okay uh, solved examples of each after completing each topic you will be finding out solved example and then we will be dealing with rapid revision questions see uh, this is something which i am not what i could say which i which i cannot explain it in words okay this you can only experience it okay by watching the video only you can experience it but simply i can say that this rapid revision questions are used for revising the concepts again okay one more time after completing a concept we will be solving some set of questions okay those set of questions solved examples will be done after completing each concept we will be solving example related to that concept this rapid revision question is set of questions collectively for that one particular chapter okay so that is rapid revision questions i don't want to talk about this much but i'm just giving you because it is also included in the course and in addition to that previous year questions of gate xc okay gate xc previous year questions will be covered and in addition to that live practice session this is something which we are introducing first time okay 
uh, last year it is not there um, but this is the first time I'm going to introduce it okay we are going to start it um, and what is a live practice session we will be um, doing a session with students and that is going to be live okay how it is going to happen all those things will be discussed with you once if you register for the course all the details all those things will be will be there will be there in our uh, telegram group okay this live practice session will happen in telegram group how it is going to happen all those things I, I i already made a video about it and i will be sharing with you and you can go through that you will understand it okay now coming to next so if you observe properly concepts will also be covered in video format and problems for practice and uh, for uh, uh, for explaining the concepts also will be covered in video format and in addition to this we will be having a practice sessions okay the practice session is not a video format it's like a test okay practice test okay now in, a, in addition to these two we have online test series okay online test series for XC this includes mock test and this year we planned for 10 mock test last year we conducted only 5 mock tests but this year we planned for 10 mock tests okay and uh, section wise test also will be there for example if you take mathematics uh, section wise we will be dividing it and we will be giving you a test and subject wise test will also be there for example if you take fluid mechanics or mathematics full subject there will be one test okay ha. now finally doubt support again I talked about this many times even before when I was explaining about our ME course also so we have our separate telegram group where each and every doubt of students will be cleared by me itself there are some rules for this doubt support group and those rules will be shared with you okay how to uh, follow how to use the group effectively okay so those things will also be shared with you that's it okay that is what all about gate xc 2022 course okay the one thing i said right gate 2023 implementation uh, we are left out with study material okay so engineering mathematics study material is available but fluid mechanics solid mechanics and thermodynamic study materials are not available in the portal and that will be included for gate 2023 course so if you are uh, if you are planning for gate xc for gate 2023 then in gate 2023 you will be you will be in in addition to all this you will be having study material also okay and later on whatever we plan we will be including it okay whatever the updates we are going to do that updates if you are registering for gate 2023 whatever updates we are going to do next year you will be included in that updates okay whatever update we are doing that will be there for you also right so these are the plan for 2022 so regarding 2023 i just given you a glimpse now coming to uh, uh section uh wise course section wise course see you don't want xcb xcd xce you are planning you need only xca to plan like that okay i will prepare myself uh, fluid or thermo okay but i want uh, only mathematics okay then what you do simple you register only for ma engineering mathematics xca course okay so section wise course is also there if you want only max you can register only fluid mechanics you can register only solid mechanics or only thermodynamics you can register individually also that is also available coming to mock test 10 mock tests i said right that 10, 10 mock test will also be made available and uh, you can write that 10 mock test separately see 10 mock test is not available as of now okay once we schedule is already available i will be attaching the schedule in the description and according to that schedule mock test will be launched as a separate course and i will be updating a video regarding that when whenever we are uh, what is that whenever we are launching that mock test okay so that's it that's all about this video okay so if you are planning for a plus b plus e or a plus b plus d or a plus d plus e whatever you want whatever the uh, i hope if you are if you are not aware of gate xc i already made a video about gate xc i will attach that also in the description you can go through it so this is compulsory okay and uh, out of this three you need to select two section so whatever you plan whatever you plan uh, according like if it is if it is was there in this out of four if you are planning it for uh, three then we are there for you you can um, you can believe us and you can register okay and one more thing i need to add general aptitude okay so we won't be covering general aptitude in this course because of again time restriction so general aptitude is not there for gate 2022 okay for 2023 we will be including it okay so for gate 2022 these are the things which will be there in gate xc course one compulsory and out of this three whichever two you are going to choose okay this will be there for all and out of this three whichever you are going to choose that will be there 
okay so if you are interested you can register and uh, if any of your friends or someone who required you can forward our video and uh, regarding the demos okay for all this we have demo okay even for uh, test series also we have demo that is available in our uh, portal you can check okay you can check the demo demos of videos demos of test series everything is available you can check it and then you can decide okay thank you